Oh my goodness, what is up y'all? I'm alive and my computer's acting crazy. Uh, all right, so if you are live and you're listening and you're watching me right now, say hi, let me know that you're here. Um, yay, hey Maria, what's up girl? Okay, perfect. Facebook was being really weird and saying, no, you're not gonna go live. And I said, yes, dang it, I'm going live. <laughs> hey Ashley, how's it going? Awesome, okay. So let's talk about weight loss today. I'm excited for today's podcast because I feel something, uh, you know, in my mind and in my heart. And as I talk to women on a daily basis about weight loss, there's things that I wanted to say. Uh, hey, Charlie, what is up? How are you? How are you? So in today's podcast, we are podcast episode number six, which I'm stoked about. Um, but weight loss for women, uh, one on one. You know, if there's you guys that are watching, of course, as well, a lot of these principles will go for you as well. As hey, Ashley, what's up, girl? But the thing is, is I want to really preach today about it not having to be so hard. You guys, it does not have to be so hard. Hey, Daryl, what is up, girl? Um, so yeah, so yes, I'm so glad to see uh, you guys here, and I would love if you're comfortable. I'm sharing in the comments, what are your goals that you're working on right now? Are you working on weight loss or what is your biggest struggle? All the things, because these things give me ideas uh, um, to also turn around and share in these podcast episodes. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about all the things. Um, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to share with you the three biggest pieces to me, to the weight loss puzzle for women that I find are extremely powerful, extremely important um, and needed um, and needed um, to have success um right so i'm going to talk about the three biggest pieces to that very that puzzle and to me it's a puzzle it's a puzzle about weight loss right like if you agree put agree in the comments um because it is um but it's over complicated in today's world so i also want to talk about why so many fail and give up um these are things that i talk to women on a daily basis and i hear i'm hearing the same thing over and over and over right and also want to talk a little bit about why I am not a fan or big believer in the quick fixes and why I don't stand behind them and why I'm not going to ever recommend them to anybody that's reaching out to me for help, right? So if you're tired, if you're sick and tired of failing, right? Like you're sick and tired of, of trying and trying and trying and it's not working, um, you know, but you are super serious, like set up a time and just have a, have a chat with me. We'll, we'll take a, time to dive in and figure out what's going on in the world. Maybe I can make some suggestions or maybe we can work together. I don't know, but you know, we can definitely get on, on a call. If you're watching this on Facebook, there's this link above, just set up a time. Let's chat. If you're not, and you're catching this later on the replay, um, then comment or, or excuse me, you can go to my website. It's acfitmama.com slash chat. Um, and you can uh, set up a time and we'll chat. So, Here's the thing. Also, if you're in my Fit Mompreneur group, if you're in there, put a, put a purple heart in the comments. If you're not in there, you should be in there. This is a group for women. And I and I love it because there's so many women in there that are having success. There's so many in there that are starting to get super comfortable sharing if they're not having success and their struggles. And this is the best part. You're seeing that you're not alone in this. But there are a lot of women that are having success. They're shrinking their belly fat, losing weight. They're finding ways to fit it in. This is a big thing. Because we have to find ways, ladies, if you're listening and you're, uh, you know, busy, because we all are, right? Everybody's busy. It's just everybody's busy looks a little bit different. Um, we can do this. We can do this. Uh, and that is my mission over all the things you see me doing is to help you realize that you can. And it doesn't have to be complicated, right? And the biggest question, as you're seeing other people have success, like how in the world am I supposed to do that, right? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in today's episode. I'm going to talk about all the things, uh, what really matters in that puzzle for weight loss for women. Um, and then, like I said, you know, set up a time, let's chat and I can maybe get into a little bit deeper suggestions for you because everybody's different. There is not one cookie cutter thing out there. that's going to work for everybody. Right. Um, so let's talk about that. So on today, again, on today's podcast, that is the thing, weight loss for women one oh one, And I really want you to understand, and I'm going to probably say it a hundred times in today's episode, maybe not a hundred, but you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be so hard. And that is exactly what I'm doing with women in my Fit Mama program um, as we're working together and coaching. Um, we, it is all about the basics. You know, it doesn't have to be hard. So uh, what, with that said, before I get into what you guys I know want to hear, um, I got to give a couple people some shout outs because there's some women right now going through my program or coaching or just, you know, that I know are having success and I feel like they deserve to be shouted out. Um, so first I just want to shout out Brandy Fair and Debbie Driver. These are two women that literally have just started. 
the, the biggest thing is a welcome. I just want to give you a big virtual welcome hug. Uh, and so, you know, tell them welcome in the comments if you're watching um, that they are uh, just this welcome and kudos to you because the hardest part is getting started. The hardest part is getting started. Put start in the comments if your hardest part right now is just simply starting. Like that is so challenging for so many, right? Um, and then also I want to shout out Lori Alazaba. If you're on, you probably still at work. You're probably catching this later. But if you know her, tag her and give her some kudos. She's doing phenomenal. And we had another uh, check-in and she's another four pounds down, 20 pounds total. Uh, you know, and the biggest part she's changed is the nutrition. You guys, again, it's all about the basics. Hey, Mallory, what is up, girl? Um, and so give Lori uh, some kudos. Say, way to go, Lori. Um, and then a couple other women that I wanted to shout out this week, and then I'll get into the fun part that I know you guys want to hear. Um, give some kudos and congrats, some loves in the comments um, to Lisa Zach. She's finishing her 12 weeks, um, and she has gotten below a big milestone number. Um, so she deserves kudos. And she has made some drastic lifestyle changes, you guys. And this is what this is about. If you know me, you follow me. It's about lifestyle changes. Um, she has made some seriously drastic lifestyle changes. And then six kids at home, some grandkids. So she is one busy woman. But she has made it happen. Rusty Fulton just finished week two. She's down two pounds uh, already and uh, and doing doing well. And she had some migraines like quite a bit over these last two weeks. So she you know could have quit. She could have quit, but she's already two pounds down. Randy Ann, oh my goodness, as she's in week three right now, down three pounds already. Four and a half inches are gone already. And this is this is off her waist, her hips, and her thighs, where the areas that we want to focus on as women mostly. You know, everybody's different. But major kudos to you women that I just shouted out. And you know any of them, just say congrats. Yeah, Maria, Lori is doing phenomenal. I'm super stoked and excited for her. She's doing great. So here's the thing. Let's talk about it. Weight loss for women 101. It doesn't have to be so hard. And that's what I want to talk about. One of the first things I want to talk about is why so many fail and so many give up. Um, and, and, you know, with, I'm going to go with it. The last thing I want to talk about is the three biggest pieces I feel like to the weight loss puzzle for women. Um, but why so many fail? Why so many give up? Um, it's because they don't have all three pieces, right? But the biggest thing I feel like is we're all chasing the quick fix, you guys. There, there's so many things out there today and, and there's this diet, that diet, this diet. There's all a bunch of crazy fad diets, right? And it makes it hard. If you are confused because you see so many things out there in the world and you're trying to think, well, what's going to work for me? Then put confused in the comments and know that you are not alone. This is very common thing that I hear from so many women I'm talking to. Um, we're chasing the quick fix, which is one of the biggest reasons why, why a lot of women are failing. We're chasing the quick fix, y'all. We have to stop chasing the quick fix. We do not get unhealthy overnight, y'all. We don't. I promise. We don't pack on five pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds. We don't pack on however. I packed on 60 pounds with both kids and pregnancies. And it took me so long. And so many people telling me in my head, because I wanted to be skinny again overnight. And it didn't happen. Like my second kid, it was almost two years before I got to where I am now. Um, and it takes time. But we have to stop chasing the quick fix. This is one of the biggest reasons why women fail. We it, we just, we want it quick, we want it quick, and it doesn't happen quick. It does not happen quick. If you are serious about wanting to lose weight, get healthier, feel better overall, be a better version of yourself, we have to stop wanting it to happen overnight. You guys, it does not, uh, you know, and, and it's hard, and that's hard to grasp, and it's hard to realize because we as women want things now. We want it yesterday. I know that's, the, that's how I am. I'm a very impatient person. Um, so if you can relate, uh, you, you know what I mean. We're very impatient, but you guys stop chasing the quick fix. We can't, we have to make changes. They're going to be hard and they're going to be challenging. And we're going to have weeks upon weeks that suck and that we're not going to want to do it. I just want to be real. Right. Um, and you're not giving something long enough. So we either chase the quick fix or we don't give something long enough. Like we give it a, a week, two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month. And then we quit because we like, Oh, didn't work for me. I'm going to move on to the next thing. This is a problem, but I'm seeing it over and over and over. And as I speak to so many women, they're like, I tried it all. And I tried every yo-yo diet out there. And I, and, and that's, you're not alone if this is you. This is actually majority of women. Um, and the other thing is why so many give up so quick is because it's overcomplicated. You guys, as, well, all the things I'm doing right now is, is Fit Mama Coaching is what I'm doing. I'm working one-on-one -on -one with women on all these things that I'm talking about today, but it's customized to that person because it's not the same. As a trainer, I used to do 
a lot of things, even meal planning. And I don't do that anymore because it's, it, it, that's exactly what it did. It overcomplicated our lives versus made it simpler. So we have to make it simple. And these are the things we that I'm doing together as you're seeing women having success in different areas. We're just not doing it all at once. We're taking baby steps and getting to where we want to be. So those are the things. Why so many women are failing right now um, over and over and over and they give up because we're chasing the quick fix. We have to stop. We have to look for the long term fix. Um, we don't want to just lose weight real quick. Right. And then in a month you quit the diet that you started and then you can get you gain all that back. Right. If you've done that before, put me in the comments, you guys, because just again, I want you to also know that you are not alone and all these things I'm saying. This is more of the norm than the opposite. So if you can relate to it, you know what I mean, um, then just know that you're not alone, right? So quick fixes, say bye-bye quick fix. We can't, we can't fix ourselves overnight. Uh, so say bye-bye in the comments if you're watching still and you're able or you're watching this on a replay later. Put Say bye-bye. Bye-bye quick fix. I, I don't want you because that's, that's not the best approach, right? Um, here's the other thing. What happens? Why the quick fixes? The other thing I was going to talk about, the second thing, um, why quick fixes and fast results aren't necessarily the right approach and why I don't go by them or why I don't go. If you work with me and we're not looking for quick fix, more times than not, I'm telling you to slow down. Slow down. Let's do one thing at a time. I promise. We're going to get to that point, but one thing at a time, right? Um, but the quick fixes are what really damages your metabolism. You, then this is something that's really hard to grasp. Right. Because we want over. We want the quick again. Uh, you know, we, we want that quick thing. But here's what happens. If you if you're not going to make it a lifestyle change and we want something fast because we want to hurt, lose weight, um, then guess what happens? A lot of times you end up restricting yourself. You cut out things like carbs um, that, you know, you not not cutting out carbs is for everybody. There's a keto diet. I see some amazing. I have some really good friends that that's their lifestyle now and they do amazing. Is that for everybody? No. If you can't stick to it long term, then no. Um, then if you don't want something that's going to be crazy restrictive for too long, because guess what happens? If you don't do it right, because you don't really know what you're doing, you're just going off recipes you see on Pinterest or, you know, the things you read. You know, that's what most of us do. Um, been there, done that, still do it occasionally. <laughs> um, but you end up damaging your metabolism by restricting yourself for way too long. Um, and this is what happens. And this is why I don't, uh, I've seen some women, like I used to do competitions and I used to compete and get ready to get on stage. And let me tell you, I mean, there was days I was eating fish and asparagus for breakfast, like gross, right? You think about that now, like, oh, um, but that's what we did. These are the things we did, but that is not maintainable. We would step on stage and then after stage, I was so hungry and I'd been just so deprived for so long. We binged with binge eat on cinnamon rolls and pizza. And guess what? Eight, nine pounds came back real fast. <laughs> that's not the way to do it. You know, that is that is not um, that's not the way to do it. Right. Um, so because guess what happens when you deprive yourself for too long? And I saw women whenever I used to compete do this and they would go way too low and deprive themselves of carbs and water deplete and do all these crazy things. They ended up having long-term damage to their metabolism and their pituitary gland and all these things. But I could do another video on a different day. Um, but then it just it, it slows your metabolism. Your metabolism goes from slow to slower. And then this is where I see a lot of women, they're at this point right now. They've done so much damage that can it be reversed? Heck yes. It's just going to take time and a lot of work um, and a lot of commitment for you to keep going. Right. And so that is why I don't like quick fixes. I'm super passionate about it because I've seen so many people damage, do more damage chasing the quick fix than, than any good. And then years down the road, they're at the same place trying to lose the same 20 pounds that they lost and regained over and over and over. Right. Um, so that is why I do not believe or well, you'll never hear me preach about a quick fix. Do I talk about products? Yeah, because I love some of the products that I use and a lot of the women in my program are taking, but not everybody. Product products aren't for everybody. I do have some that I put my name on because I 100% believe in them. But I also believe that you got to get the nutrition and the fitness under control too for it to, for you to get the really amazing results that a lot, that a lot of people are getting because they're doing it all. They're not just doing one thing. Um, you know, So you don't want to chase products 
product to product to product either. You got to give it time and you got to do some homework along with taking a product. Okay. So it's not just one thing. So the three biggest things though, the three biggest pieces, here's the three biggest pieces to the puzzle that I super feel like these are the things that are helping the women I'm working with really get the best results. Um, and obviously, hello, we know this one, nutrition. Drop nutrition in the comments if you are watching. Nutrition is a huge part of it. You hear things, you hear uh, people always talk about 80% of it is nutrition, 80% is nutrition. Well, you know, there's a lot of truth to that. Um, abs are made in the kitchen. There's a lot of truth to that too, but there's so much more that goes into it, right? How about your energy levels? How about how good you sleep? How about how, you know, just your mood? Like there's a lot of things affected by your nutrition and it goes way deeper than weight loss. And these are the things that we dive in deep whenever I'm working with women at coaching because there's more to it. We don't want to walk around like a zombie monster mom all the time and, and chasing the next caffeine product, the next caffeine, the next caffeine. Like, do I drink caffeine? Hell yeah. I've got my favorite uh, collagen coffee I drink every day. But I know a big difference whenever I'm not eating right. Um, and it's my energy levels no matter what I do, no matter what I take. Nutrition is key. nutrition is key. But here's the thing. We can't overcomplicate the nutrition. And again, this is what I do in my coaching we, uh, sorry, my, my, uh, my daughter and her friend are over here and my, my husband is chasing them in the background. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that, but, um, nutrition, but here's the thing. you got to go back to simple. I, you know, I'm a big believer in the crazy simple, finding that balanced nutrition, finding ways that you can eat foods that you like, have that cocktail every now and then that you want without depriving yourself. The last thing I'm ever going to ask anybody to do if you're working with me is go, uh, you know, I want you to, uh, you know, meal prep. Uh, I want you to meal prep. Yes. But I don't want you to have to stand in the corner eating what you might consider to feel, to feel like you're eating cardboard because your family is across the way eating pizza. Like I, that is just not appealing at all. <laughs> um, so in nutrition, though, you got to keep it simple. Think moderation. Think there's things that you can do in it and make minor tweaks. And that's what we do. And in my coaching program, I do minor tweaks. We're doing it small things all the time, small things, little things here and there. Right. So nutrition is obviously a huge piece of the puzzle. But the second piece is accountability and knowledge. Like if you don't have accountability, it's really easy to give up, right? Like, um, it, you know, if you agree, put accountability, drop it in the comments if you're watching this now or later, like, because accountability is huge. I have coaches myself that I work with in business and, and fitness and nutrition because I realized last year, like something wasn't working and my accountability for myself was not working because I would hit snooze and I would sleep and I didn't, and I would come home and do not, not my workout. I would teach everybody else or preach to the preach to anybody that would listen to me to go do this, go do that. But I was not doing it myself until I found accountability. Um, and so accountability is huge. And this is what we do. Uh, you know, and this, this is obviously one-on-one. -on -one. Accountability is huge is what I do with women that are working with me. Accountability is also huge in our Facebook group. If you're not in our group, the Fit Mompreneur, uh, if you're on my profile, there's a link there. Um, I'll put it above too. I forgot to put it up there. But, you know, or join or go to my website if you're catching this later on the podcast at acfitmama.com. It's on the homepage. Join our group because that's a huge form of accountability. Um, and, and the third piece of the puzzle was community and support, which to me, those kind of go hand in hand. Nutrition is huge. Fitness is obviously part of it too. That's going to look different for everybody, but even more so the things that sets your results apart is nutrition, accountability and knowledge, which I'll talk a little bit about knowledge in a second, but accountability is huge. If you don't have someone to report to, so to speak, I like having someone to report to. I like having someone that I report to all my numbers, all my activities, all the things I do, because I want to make whoever I'm, I, whoever's holding me accountable, I want to make them proud. That's my love language. I need to make sure that that person is proud of me. Like that's just how I like, that's just, that works for me. That doesn't work for everybody, but accountability is huge. I want that person to check. I want to be able to shout, you know, you know, share my wins. Um, and that's the things that we do inside the Facebook group. So definitely join the group if you're not in there because you have the community and the support, which to me is the third piece of the puzzle. Because I can work with people all day long and one-on-one -on -one and tell you what to do and hold you accountable and ask you well, what's going on, why are you not working out, what, you know, why are you, you know, why are you eating all this that's on your food log this week? Let's tweak this, this, and this, and this. Um, but the best part about having a community is because you have other women along a similar journey with you that you know you can rely on. You can not be judged. That's huge. That's huge. We don't judge in our group. I won't allow it. If it happens, they're out real quick. Um, 
that is not that is not the message I ever want to want to share. Right. I don't want that. I don't want to ever put that out there. Um, so being, you know, having that community of other women like you that have a crazy busy life, that have kids, whether they're tiny or, or they're teenagers or they're adults, doesn't matter. It's busy on a different level and it just looks slightly different for each person. Um, you have the stress of all the crazy COVID and everything going on in the world. You maybe have stress from all the things going on in your life. But you're not alone in that. And I feel like women, if you're trying to do this alone, you give up really quick because you think you're alone and you think there's nobody there to support you. And that's totally wrong. And that's the vibe and the culture that I'm building and wanting to build in the group. And I'm not doing that alone. There's an army of women in there that are doing it with me. Um, so I feel like those are the three biggest pieces of the puzzle, nutrition, accountability, community and support. And then the knowledge I was going to say, too, is. Um, you know, I feel like, I feel like if you're, if you're, I, I joke about this, I'm talking to the women I'm coaching, but my goal when I'm coaching is to coach you and teach you, not just say, do this, do this, do this. And somebody asks you, why are you eating that? I don't know. Angela told me so, you know, I want you to know the method the behind the madness so that you can take that. And, you know, I, it, realistically, nobody's going to be able to work with a coach for life. Right. So I want you to come out of it with the tools and the knowledge and the knowing what to do and why to do it so that you can make that into a lifestyle. That's when it becomes a lifestyle and not a diet, something that you have to stick to for life. Right. So, um, you know, again, so, you know, nutrition is a huge part of it. But we overcomplicate it and our society and our world today has fad diet after fad diet after fad diet that creates a complication in our world. So you have to turn off, turn off the noise the best you can. Simplify it. And that's what we do. Have the accountability. Again, if you're not in the group, join our group. There's, there's a link above or there will be. I'll put it on here in a second. I totally forgot. Um, or acfitmama.com in the main page is right there. There's a, there's a button on the main page. Join us if you're catching this on the podcast because this is going to be uploaded soon. Um, so again, listen, I, I hope you got some value from this. Share with me what is your what is the top thing that you learned um, from the podcast today. I would love to see it in the comments or maybe what is your biggest struggle or what is your question? If you have a question, drop it in the comments as well, because I would love to answer them. Um, and if you're if you're if you're on this journey, but you're tired of failing and you're you're tired of who you see in the mirror, you don't like who you see in the mirror. You know, we shouldn't live like that. We should love who we see in the mirror. Um, and but you if you really super are serious um, about getting, you know, making that changes, but you know, you're at a point where you're like, I need help. You know, that's where I was last year. That's why I was like, I didn't, I couldn't, couldn't afford it, but I realized real quick that I really couldn't afford not to, or nothing was going to change. And then I was just going down the spiral of getting worse and worse and worse. And this was business and health. This is all of it. Right. So I found a way and just, just did it. <laughs> it was the best decision I ever made in my life. Um, so, you know, like I said, if you're, if you're on Facebook, you see there's a link above schedule a time we can chat or go to my website, acfitmama.com slash chat. If you're watching or listening to this um, on the podcast, you can definitely just set up a time. We can chat. Uh, no judgment ever uh, in anything. And, uh, and again, join our group. If you're not in it, we'd love to have all women walks of life. It's fit mompreneur, but it's not only moms, it's all women. Um, regardless. So huh, that is it, you guys. I hope you got some value. Um, my podcasts are normally on Thursdays, but we're heading out in the morning for a, a beach trip. We're taking the kids down to Port Aransas, taking a couple days on the beach. You'll see us sharing, of course, but normally every Thursday, 11 a.m., uh, I'm live here recording our podcast, and then it does get uploaded. You can also subscribe to the podcast as well, too. So just know, again, thank you so much, Melissa. I, I hope, uh, you know, if you, anybody else that is watching knows that, you know, you're not alone. So don't ever try to do this alone. And uh, my inbox is never closed. It's always open. I may be slow sometimes responding, but connect with me on social. Well, you know, if you're watching this on social media, you're already connected. But if you're not and checking this on a podcast, connect um, and let's let's lock arms, do it together and at least know that you have a community of women behind you to support you. So that is it. Y'all have an amazing day. Hey, Lori, you have an amazing day as well. Uh, and we will chat soon. Next podcast, next Thursday, 11 a.m.